Okay, today we're going to be working on a 2006 Honda Pilot and uh, I recently purchased <clears throat> this guy but it needs a little bit of work. Um, we're going to be changing out the uh, the intake hose. Shouldn't take too many tools but uh, right here we have a pair of pliers, channel locks. Ratchet, extension, maybe a swivel. I don't know what size socket we need, but I got a little set. Yep, 10. So we got this 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter here. I mean, mine's, let's see, I'm show you, mine's broken. So I gotta replace that. Now, you need a pair of pliers for this guy. Well, do it by hand. Yeah. Now you're gonna have to remove this guy and this guy down here. I don't know exactly what these things are called, but they fit on the new one here, there, and then it actually goes like this. Yeah. This piping goes into the side. Now this is the uh, 3.5 liter uh, J35, just missing the cover, I took it off, it was pretty nasty, got to clean it up, but um, yeah, a little bonus, already came with the K&N filter, don't know what it looks like, it's probably real dirty, well, let's begin. So, uh, Tightening it. Well, this is just clamped on. Yeah, it just pops off. This guy just comes out like so. Now you gotta remember which side goes where. Well, you can tell this slightly larger one goes on the bottom, and then the little one goes on top. Okay. Now sometimes you gotta grip these kind of hard because they. Uh, You gotta grip them with a pair of pliers and twist it because they they get seized on there. And so you're able to pull it off. I've been stubborn. Or since I'm not gonna reuse this one, I don't have to be so gentle. I could actually just cut it out with a knife. I wanted to, which I think I am probably going to be easier. Now, I only do this if you're replacing it, not removing it to get to something. Oh. So now you're going to have to reuse these. Uh, hose clamps it's just going to transfer it over to the new hose so I pull it out one hand Always scary when you drop a tool in a motor engine bay and you don't hit it hit you don't hear it hit the floor. Then you gotta go and hunt for it. So these things pop off pretty easy. Well, out the old. Now this one's a 10 millimeter as well. broken piece off. Jeez, it's so brittle. <clears throat> now we got to take this little piece of holes off of here since I cut mine.
throw them in the trash later. Okay. Hose goes over here and to this side, so that'll land like that. But first, let's put on the hose clamps. Basically undo what you did. Undo the undo. If that makes any sense. Turn this guy on a little bit just so it won't fall apart, fall off. Tripod coming soon guys, bear with me. Shove this guy back in there, oh you like it. Make sure it seats all the way. Put your hand on the inside. You see that it's all the way in. Now the other side. The hose clamp on. I'm a good tight, not too incredibly too tight, but because you don't want to distort the plastic, then chances you're gonna have a air leak, start picking up a bunch of trash. Looks good. Now this jar just shows back into the air box. Well, I jumped the gun a little too early. I guess I'm gonna have to reuse this guy. A little spring. Don't forget about that spring, guys. I almost threw them out in the trash. Guess you can use a pair of uh, screwdriver. But here, I got a knife. Or actually, it looks like it has a little, I see it, little hooks right there. I'll get those undone and I'll get back with you. Well, I didn't unhook it, I just kind of rolled it, rolled it over the groove. Let's see, it, yeah, I just rolled over the groove and it just slips right out. But it does have focus. Focus in has little hooks right here, but I'd rather not do that. I might come right another that unhook it. It'll probably get too difficult to put it on. All right, get back over there. Take this guy back off. You know, slips over this little groove. Just rubber band. Oh, I got it back on. I have to put the camera down because I needed two hands. Get this guy back in there. Clamp number three. Go right over the end of the. Oh, geez, I'm shooting the blank. The throttle body. Uh, make sure it goes up, up, up against that little. Let me show you. Up against that little notch right there. This one. That's how you know it's all the way in. Make sure back here, got this little nub. If you got that little nub, it goes between those two uh, rectangle nub thingamajigs. Now 
stuck here. I just simply grab this guy and shove it inside the hole. To some people it might be natural. All it goes in. That's all it goes in. Then get your clamp. Put over it. I'm not sure it's good and tight. Tighten up your tighten up your last clamp. Now this was a this was a ten millimeter. Just don't damn you. Now it's all nice and tight. Remember, don't tighten those, these up terribly too tight, but tight enough. <laughs> well, you should be good. That's all it took. Well, this is Gilbert. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Uh, subscribe. Got more content coming. Got the uh, the RSX and uh, the Integra with the Type R swap. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.